uh, possession. Six months in Connecticut, six months in Indiana for this mayor, okay? It's a deal, Chris. It's a deal. Very good. Look at the way she jumped 13. Oh, she was beautiful. two feet over it. Good round going. Clear again. Four falls. She ties Conrad Holmfeld. Yes. Only four falls for the round over this very, very difficult course. Heidi Rubiani, 5'7", 165 pounds, 33 years old, and... You saw and only one talented animal. You saw two. Heidi and Jessica will be back with more at Santa Anita, the final event in the equestrian competition of these Olympic Games. Country, Canada. If you seek shade, a brilliant young writer, 19-year-old Mario Deloria. Aramis. Aramis, only a seven-year-old Bay Gelding, and surely the Germans say, why did we ever let this horse go out of Germany? Because he looks like a world beater. Uh, he tortured them when he came back to the World Cup finals, actually, in Göteborg and won it with young Mario. But Mario had already shown us in North America last year that uh, he was a world-class rider with this horse. He won the President's Cup in Washington. He was the leading international rider in New York, and he is one tough customer. He's got a lot of confidence in this horse. The horse has all the ability in the world. That long stride is just effortless for him. He takes a long stride so easily that he may leave out some strides on this course, and he is a very real threat to jump a clear round. Didn't go so well in the Nations Cup. He had an nerves Mario may have experienced in the Nations Cup I think are under control now and he's still working on a clear first Beautiful big question rhythm, Bill. first rhythm. big question is that three combination this is a tough line for him he's got to get to the water right and this horse takes such a long stride that he could override the water quite easily 19 years old he rides it absolutely perfectly the 12 and clear, still clear. Still clear, and the last two fences are not impossible to jump cleanly at all. Looks like our first clear. What a jump he made over 13, but it fell. He stood back too far at that. So it's another four, the third four-fall round to join Conrad Homfeld and Heidi Robiani. Mario Delorier of Vermont. Canada, where the 76 games, the equestrian competition at that location. 19 years old, or the seven-year-old Bay Gelding, and a Varian. He is a seven-year-old, a big one, and a good one. We're going to return to Santa Anita for this final day of competition after this. I've never been. Mr. Cottle of New Zealand, uh, New Zealand's most experienced rider. He was 35, year old, 35 years old yesterday. He's riding Arturo, a nine-year-old brown gelding, a half New Zealand thoroughbred. I'm sure he'd like to give himself a birthday present today, just belatedly one day late with a clear round here. He has probably the experience to do it, uh, and nobody can tell the New Zealanders short. You know what Mark Todd did in the three-day event individually? A gold. And in their customary black coats, but three comes down, unfortunately, so clear round is not going to be his fate today. Maybe only a four would be. It's already eight, Chris. Doesn't look like it. So little time, so many fences. They come down so easily. There's a big score working for John Cottle. That refusal, three penalty points. He's got to go back now and jump the whole combination again. That's the way it is under the rules. They're going to add eight seconds to his time, whatever his time is. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big score, I'm afraid. John Cottle of New Zealand, a farmer and a contractor back home. Let's replay the last happening. He was a little bit tight to the first one, so he didn't land very deeply, took a stride, and he was so far away from the second fence that he really had no chance to jump it. And the same thing happens again. They will reset the fence yet again, and he has to try it for the third time. If he gets another refusal, of course, he's eliminated, Chris. And of course, this shakes up the horse, doesn't it, Bill? He has to settle him down now. And 
settle them down or crank them up one or the other. You've got to do something different. I would say you jump up and down and you hope you get through it the third time, but uh, he's just uh, riding really for his own personal mm -hmm. satisfaction to finish the course somehow. It turns out that he can't do that. Three refusals and the third strike you're out in this sport, Chris. Yes, John Cottle of New Zealand, but he did participate. All right, we're going to be back here at Santa Anita, but first, this part. Great combinations anywhere, anywhere in the world. Calypso and Melanie Smith of the United States, Bill. And uh, don't they look alert as they go to the far end of the course now, uh, warming up, getting ready to come back after a disastrous ride and round by John Cottle of New Zealand. All this at Santa Anita. Melanie Smith. Melanie has a lot of experience. She's not showing the horse any fences but she's just letting us, him establish himself in this ring and giving the audience a chance to, to quiet down a little bit. We have had no clear rounds. We've had three riders with one knockdown or four falls. Conrad Holmfeld of the United States, Heidi Robiani of Switzerland, and Mario Delorier of Canada. And, of course, Melanie hasn't had a fence down yet in this Olympic Games. She only had to ride once in the gold medal winning Nations Cup because as fourth rider, as anchor person, she didn't have to ride. Conrad Holmfeld had already secured the gold medal for the United States. But uh, you want to know what kind of class she has. She's been uh, horse of the year, rider of the year. She's been in the last four World Cup finals and never worse than six. And she won it in Baltimore. No, she won it in... Uh, Gutterborg and Gutterborg. Touches or rubs do not count. Clear thus far. The Olympic fence. Clear. Melanie Smith with the 11 year old Bay Gelding. And he's Dutch bred. He is a lucky boy. And the lucky boys can jump. Melanie says Calypso has more than a fair amount of intelligence. You can see what a tiger she is on the course. She really attacks. And the nice thing about Melanie is no matter how big the occasion, she's a free swinger. She does her thing. So pleased with that team gold medal. Here is this critical three combination. This is really the heart of this course. Come on, Calypso. Oh, through it. Still clear. Now going to number nine, Melanie Smith. spirited ride on the wall then the water bill yes he's ordinarily okay at the water oh, oh the flag the goes judge up gave it to him a four-way tie a now four-way tie melanie still working on a four-fault round which would surely qualify her for the second round all right coming to that final fence now well within the optimum time so it's a four-way tie. Two from the United States, Melanie Smith, Conrad Holmfeld, along with Heidi Robiani and Mario Delorier of Canada. Sellout crowd. It has been for months the final event of the equestrian competition at Santa Anita. We'll have, we'll have to look, look at, at that water. water jump again. She left out a stride at it, actually, Chris. She was afraid she was going to be late, and she just went too early. Nevertheless, that will for sure get her into the second round when they take the 25 best out of this field of 51. Melanie Smith. We'll be back. Let's taste. Now, I know you're um, a little tired and, and a little disappointed. He had a foot in the water. Um, otherwise, he jumped brilliantly. Tell us about the problem that you had at the water. He felt wonderful. I just could feel that he was going to go clean. And it's difficult to ride the water off sort of a steady stride. You're, it's a committed distance. And I felt I met it fine. It's just such a big water. It just sometimes they lose interest in jumping that far. Well, he certainly didn't. just missed it by a little bit. What, what do you anticipate for the second round? I'll just ride it the same way, but a little extra spur or stick or whatever I can do at the takeoff to try to get him across. He just barely hit the tape. I don't think he even stepped in the water. I mean, he just barely missed it, so I, I think I can get it the next time. Melanie, some of the horses look a little tired. He certainly doesn't look like one of them. He looks like he's fit. He looks like he's feeling great. Does he feel good to you? He does. He, he's really fit coming into this, and he just felt really fresh. He felt great in the ring. He didn't feel tired. Well, he certainly looked terrific, and uh, thanks for coming down and talking with us. And now back Back to you, Chris. 
Thank you, Tad. Holmfeld, Robiani, Deloria, and Melody Smith tied for the top spot with four penalty points each. We'll return to Santa Anita after the two fences down with an eight. So he's a tough competitor. He's a very, very talented person. Nice build for a rider. He's a little bit better built than his brother John, who is even more famous. His brother John has been a hero. 25 lowest scores. You may just pick up on the on the screen the funny little thing under her stomach. She's got kind of a, I'd call it a tummy protector. She folds her legs so tightly that she sometimes hits herself in the stomach. And they have a leather pad there to prevent her from bruising herself with the caulks of her front shoes. Princess Anne, three-day eventer at the 76 games in Montreal and very active here in these games. Moving around to do metal presentations. Oh, boy. Oh. Through the hard three combination, and she was a foot over a C. She jumped out really beautifully. Princess Anne came here the right day to see a man from Great Britain clear at this point. Tough line here. Jumps the water cleanly. And now coming to the last line, only two more fences to go and working on a clear. Beautiful jump over 13. He loses his pedal for a second, but gets it right back again. Coming to 14, perfectly attentive. Leaves it up, and it's the first clear round of the day for young Michael Whitaker of Great Britain. In the past, it has been West Germany, Great Britain, and France who have dominated the equestrian sport. Since the start of the Olympic game equestrian competition in 1912, and now the first clear round, and this came with the 40th rider, the 24-year-old younger half of the Whitaker brother combination from Great Britain. Five tied with one knockdown, or four penalty points each. Michael Whitaker, the first clear round. So to take a look at a key American rider, Joe Farges, in just a short while, but Meanwhile, platform diving is up. From Petersburg, Virginia, in the team competition, two clear rounds, helping his team to win the first team gold medal ever. Joe Fargus writing, Bill, here's another mare that we'd love to have. Touch of class. She really is just super. And Joe Forges has made such a wonderful combination with her. How would you like to be coming to the individual without having had a fence down in the Olympic Games after the team competition? That sounds as if the Tooth Fairy gave you the right kind of present. And in team, he was leading off for the United States team. Now he's the 49th rider in a field of 51. Michael Whitaker with the only clear round. Uh, there are five with four faults, including Melanie Smith and Conrad Holmfield. Each nation allowed three to compete in this, the individual competition, and the final event of the equestrian events here. Two rounds. This is the first. They will cut the field to the best 25. It'll be a different course. Different and bigger. And if then they're still tied, there'll be a jump off against the clock. Let's see if Touch of Class is in the same kind of form today that she was in during the Nations Cup. She rubs that. That may help her. That may help her be a little bit tidier in front. If you can bump a fence and not tear it down, it may remind the horse be a little bit tidier. Optimum time, 108 seconds. I think Joe will have no trouble with the time allowed. He asks her to jump in carefully, and she does, and she jumps out beautifully. Got a rhythm going, so delicate. He makes a very good move there to reorganize before this big oxer. He's got the rhythm going. She's a little bit careless behind. She's not really bending her hocks the way she can. Will she get away with this combination? through the triple, Joe Fargus of the United States. She had a couple of rubs through that combination, but she's still clear. Now coming to the wall, followed by the water. So it's just marvelous control of his nerves. And she jumps three feet past the water. All we have to worry about now is this audience response because the horses can hear it and sometimes it upsets them. A beautiful round in the making. One more.